Hey there guys, so today I'm going to tell a pretty wild story. When Roblox was al almost sued over a fruit. So what do I mean Roblox almost got sued over a fruit? This sounds crazy. And it might sound crazy, but this really happened. Okay, so we have to start off with the beginning of the story. It all starts off with this item right here. LOL, who? So this not so strange looking orange with a mouth, which resembles the annoying orange quite a bit. Uh, is actually not what got Ro Roblox in trouble. In fact, this is how the item looks today. Uh, kind of irrelevant. It's, a, it's an orange that is limited, which is kind of strange enough. But yeah, so this uh, item wasn't always called the LOL Who. And for me to explain the story, I have to take it back to... Take it back to... Okay, so Telamon's Mystery Box. So Telamon's Mystery Box was actually a really fascinating item back in 2010 and early 2011. Okay, so originally this item came out for like a few minutes as like a grey box with no texture. And so it turned into this treasure chest which would open up into free prizes. And so a bunch of items came out of this mystery box and they would often almost always go limited. So you will get free limited limited out of this so in the description it shows all the prices and right here you you see an item called lol of what now if that sounds familiar that's because it is familiar expect the issue is it is that it says you got lol what for free but the item here is called lol who and you might be thinking well isn't there an lol what and an lol who item uh yes but no so you see, this item, when it originally came out in 2010, April, April 2010, it was actually called LOL What. And how do I know this? Well, the ID of this item is um, that. And so you can see this item here called LOL What, where the image won't load, unfortunately. So at this point, it was two days old. It was a brand new limited, and people were selling it for like uh, around 500 Robux, which is nice. You got the item for free, and then you had you could sell it for Robux, basically free Robux. But I digress. So what is the difference between LOL what and LOL who? Well, besides the name, LOL who is an orange, but LOL what, LOL what is a pair. Now, probably know that it's a pair, uh, and not just some hoax that someone made up, right? Well, in fact, you could still find the mesh and the texture of LOL what. On Roblox to this day, so you can see the mesh here called LOL Q, and you can see the pair with the did. So you can see the texture here, which once you put the texture and the mesh together, you get this smiling pair here that kind of looks creepy, but it is what it is. I mean, it was free, and you got to sell it for Robux. I am not mad, I will not be mad about free Robux, basically. Okay, so why did they change it from a pear to an orange randomly, less than one week later? Because this is the only known snapshot of it in history, and then any time after that, it was the orange. Right here, so why did it turn into an orange? Well, as it turns out, the LOL bot pear was on a user's art on DeviantArt. So if you load up this page here, this looks like one of those old ancient paintings from like the 1700s. It's a pair with a mud. And so I think you can see the similarity. You know, you can't just take someone's art and make it a Roblox item. Uh, and you know, the biting pair of Salamanca, which is quite a nice looking thing. I guess uh, like, I, so like I can barely draw stick figures. So I'm not going to criticize it. Uh, so, of course, I guess they got in trouble because copying art is obviously copyright. And they didn't want to get sued, and Roblox never wants to get sued. Who wants to get sued? Nobody. So, you know, what? Well, they decided to go ahead and play it safe and change it to the orange, which, I don't know, it looks similar to the annoying orange, but, but yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, this item itself was just so fascinating, I had to cover it. So anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and bye.